everybody and welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be filming a what i eat in a day video so i'm going to share with you every single thing i eat in a typical day now this is going to be a day at home at my flat not at my parents because in the week i stay with my parents because i work near where they live and i can't drive yet so this is not going to be what i eat in a day at work it's going to be what i eat in a day at my flat at home. I do tend to eat a lot more on the weekends because I don't eat that much during the week. Don't know why, but that's just how I am. And I also never have breakfast during the week. But when it comes to the weekends, I do have breakfast. But today I started off with my usual coffee. I like to have a coffee in the morning. I actually look forward to having a coffee in the morning. So that's what I did. I started off with that. Then I kind of got on with a few tasks and errands and I made myself some toast. So I had butter and jam on toast. I do really like having butter and jam on toast. It's a great combination. And then I did also have some orange juice as well this morning. I do like to have a bottle of water as well. And it's this kind of like reusable water bottle I got from Wilco's. It holds 800 mils. So I like to have like a full one of those. I don't like to drink too, too much water because I don't want to be constantly going to the toilet, especially if I'm not at home. But when I'm at home, it's fine. And then I've caught you up. So now I'm going to show you what I have for lunch. I might do some baking today and I might be ordering a takeaway tonight i'm not sure so we will see so for lunch i am actually going to use up one of these so i had one yesterday and it was reduced through the day so i thought i'll get it used for lunch today it's a vegan juicy burger and it actually tastes all right i think i'm gonna have to have it with just bread um, because i don't have like any bread buns or anything like that so i think i'm gonna have to just have it with bread I actually do have these cheese slices, so I think I can put one of those like in it. So this is the burger before it goes in the oven. I am currently just preheating my oven. I have got two slices of bread, put some butter on it, put a cheese slice on this side, and then, yep, the ketchup did spill a little bit, but yeah, ketchup on the other side. So yeah, it's just a very random meal, but I want to make use of what I've got. I am also having some of this. So this is from Lidl. It's called Freeway Orange Aid Zero. So it's like Fanta. There's no like sugar or really any that many calories in it. So I'm going to pour some of this. And I'll have a little bit of this. Um, just a little bit because I don't like some, don't like too much fizz. So yeah, I'll have this as well with my lunch. So my burger is out of the oven. I now need to pop it onto my bread thing. Right, and I'm just gonna pop this on top like that. And then I think I'll cut it in half. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna eat it with a knife and fork because I do actually tend to eat burgers with a knife and fork anyway. Um, yep, yeah, I know that's not very normal, but yeah. So that's my lunch. I also have this celebrations tub but with like other chocolates in it. So I'm gonna have, I think this little pack of party rings, but in here I have um, mini party rings. I've got mini jammy dodgers and then um, one of these wafer caramel things. Oh, and then I do also have a giant Colin head, which I still need to have. So I'm gonna have this for like my pudding for lunch time. I really like party rings, they're literally my favorite. I don't know why, there's just something about them that I love. It's now the afternoon and I've decided to do some baking. So I'm gonna bake some cookies. I've just got this recipe off of Google and it's a chewy cookie recipe. And yeah, hopefully I've got everything. I need butter, sugar, eggs, vanilla. I don't have that, but I don't need that. Um, plain flour, baking powder. I don't have that, but I am not a fan of baking powder, baking soda, um, anyway, and some chocolate. I'm actually gonna be using up chocolate from Christmas. So I've got this like chocolate bar, some mint chocolates, a Milky Way, Mars bars. Um, yeah, so it's that's what's gonna go in the cookie. So these are gonna be like leftover Christmas chocolate cookies. 
I won't film me fully baking because this is not a baking video but I will film a few clips of what I'm doing and maybe I'll do like a Easter bake video when it's like nearer to Easter. Also I had a cup of tea in this mug and I forgot to show you. I've been quite busy today. I've been hoovering the carpets, carpet foaming, the carpets cleaning the floors through in here. So yeah, busy today. I've also been washing my brushes as well. Um, I wash my brushes every two weeks, gotta keep them clean. So yeah, I'm currently watching this video whilst I bake. It's a deep cleaning motivation video. The channel is Clutter Free Zone. I've mentioned her a few times in videos. So I'll check her channel out if you like cleaning, that kind of thing, cause it's, it's a good video. So this is all of the chocolate that I'm adding in on the chopping board. I might actually weigh this to see how much this is because it said the recipe needs 200 grams. So not sure how much is here. So I might just quickly weigh that. Right, I'm leaving the mixture in the fridge for half an hour. And trust me, this makes a massive difference to the cookies not spreading and like attaching themselves to each other. Um, I've got this to tidy up though, so I'm gonna do that now. The cookies are out of the oven now. This is what they look like. So they're not like the best. I know why they haven't like spread out more and been more like chewy cookies and it's because I didn't use real butter I used like margarine um, but that's fine they still look really good like obviously it looks like someone smashed this one in but it's because <laughs> <Look. laughs> Quite bad, isn't it? yeah it's because the chocolates um have like oozed out but it still looks nice so I've still got more to come there's loads gonna probably have about 50 but I'll just have to give them away but yeah, I'm gonna pop these over here and I'll probably have one of these later on. So I've just had one of the cookies and it actually tasted really nice. I actually quite like it. It's got the kind of texture where it's almost slightly cakey. So it's a mixture between a biscuit and a cake. And I think that's because of the fact that it's not real butter. I have found that to be like quite true with loads of bakes I've done. If I use not like proper butter, then it ends up, sorry I'm just locking into my laptop, um, then it ends up being like more of a cakey texture, but that's fine, it's still really nice, and yeah, I was actually surprised, I liked it more than I thought. I've got myself a cup of tea in this mug, so I thought I would just show you that. Um, me and Jamie are ordering a takeaway tonight, so I'll show you that when it comes. We have ordered fish and chips, so even though I've not ordered fish, I ordered chips and cheese and tartar sauce which is very random but I do really like tartar sauce so I'll show you that when it comes. Chips and cheese, tartar sauce. Uh, what did I get? Chips, haddock and the sausage. Oh, and gravy <laughs> as well, yeah. And gravy. Gotta get gravy. Yeah. Oh my god, has it got a whole thing for just haddock? Yeah, it's massive. Jesus. So it's now the next day and I didn't eat anything after I showed you what I had yesterday, I don't think. I think I had some more water and some of the Fanta that I showed you. Oh, it started raining outside. Anyway, um, so it is the next day now and I just thought I'd say goodbye because I forgot to end the video. Um, but give the video a thumbs up if you like it. I film one of these every single month so there will be another What I Eat In A Day video next month and every single one is different. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.